Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. In today's video, I have a Sips by box to share with you, but technically I actually have two. I was traveling and I love bringing my Sips by boxes with me when I travel. They're so fun to open up if I'm staying at the hotel or an Airbnb because there's so many delicious teas to try and you have everything you need inside the box to make the tea. So they've become a staple when I travel just as much as they're fun to, you know, open up at home and everything. So if you're ready to see what was inside my January and February Sips by Box, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea or of course your choice of beverage. I'm enjoying some green matcha tea, so delicious. So anyway, without further ado, virtual cheers and let's get started with today's video. I decided to open my February box first with my little dog, Alice. She wanted to help out and sniff test the different teas. Now, if you're new to Sip Spy, they're a tea subscription box service and you actually get to fill out an online questionnaire that you can update, redo, retake as often as you want and they'll match teas that they think you will love. And I'm obsessed with this. It's a great way to find out different tea brands from all over the world different types of teas. And it's just so lovely to have the variety, but not that full commitment to the same type of tea in a box or a tin, especially if you don't end up liking the tea. Now let's open up the box. The first item I'm pulling out is the tea bags that Sip Spy includes when you order loose leaf tea or you have loose leaf tea in your order. So you can kind of pick based on if you want tea bags or loose leaf tea or a bit of both. And I always love having a bit of both. So they always include these tea sachets for me, which I love. Now the next tea I'm pulling out here is by the brand Miracle Tree. It is a green tea, lemon, ginger, moringa, energy tea. It sounds so good. It is super caffeinated. This is what they have to say about it. This moringa energy infusion contains 155 milligrams of organic caffeine tea extract, making it the perfect coffee replacement, providing an energy boost without the jitters or the crash. And I really enjoyed this tea. As you guys know, I love ginger, I love lemon, and I love green tea. So this one I definitely recommend trying. If you're a fan too, it was so delicious. The next tea I pulled out was called the Wild Raspberry Hibiscus Tea by Stash Tea. And this is a brand that I have used, oh my gosh, for forever, since high school for sure. So I was very excited to see it. It was a caffeine-free tea. This tea was so delicious. It has hibiscus, lemongrass, rose hips, orange peel, licorice root, and that natural raspberry flavor. It was just so refreshing. I also think it would be really good iced. I had it hot. Now the next tea I'm pulling out is a chamomile lavender tea by the brand Your Botanical Friend. It has organic chamomile blossoms and organic lavender blossoms. Perfect bedtime tea. I had this each night before I went to bed. And it was so good, very calming. I love the packaging on it. I mean, it, like it, it's so cute, you know, the lavender color and the little chamomile flowers on it. It was super cute. The last tea I pulled out is called the Renegade Life by Renegade Tea Estate. It is a green tea and here's what they have to say about it. A pure green tea with a natural nutty roasted aroma with hints of sweetness. Notes of chestnuts and peanuts are accompanied by a roasted flavor. Now, I was very intrigued by this tea. As you guys know, I love green tea. And I also do love to try like more kind of nuttier, kind of roasted teas. I love hojicha tea. So this one really like appeals to me. And I'm like, you know what? I got to make this one first out of the box. So as you guys know, I always love to like, which tea sounds like the one that I'm most excited to try first. Well, this one was the one I was most excited to try first. And you guys are probably going to laugh at me. The hotel I was staying at did not have a kettle, so I used the Keurig and just used the water setting to make this tea. So all you basically need for your Sip Spy box, they have everything else you need, you just need the hot water. So I used the Keurig. <laughs> so silly, right? But hey, it worked. And this tea was so good. I actually made this every morning. It was so good, along with the other teas included in the box, you know, throughout the day or whenever I needed like a little tea break. This was so good. You could taste that roasted like deliciousness to it. Oh, it was so good. Now we finished that box. Now let's open up the January box, which I was so excited to open. I had just been so busy and traveling. I hadn't had a chance. So I was very in excited and intrigued to see what teas were going to be in there. I also love to rate my each of my boxes. You can pick, you know, your favorite teas and let Sip Spy know so they can better match teas for you in the future. So I was really excited to do that. 
Now here's our little, little like leaflet that it says the names of the different teas that are inside. And here's a little peek at the Sip Spy box. They actually changed their boxes, by the way. I don't know if any of you ordered Sip Spy, but the boxes are actually slimmer, like a little bit smaller now too, which is interesting. I think it'll better fit in some mailboxes and it's extra eco-friendly using less packaging. Now the first tea I pulled out is the Organic Double Green Matcha Tea by the Republic of Tea. And oh my goodness, I was very excited to try this because green tea, matcha, you guys probably at this point know how much I love green tea and matcha. So I was very excited to make this. It came in a tea bake form and it was so good. I enjoyed it so much. I'd make it in a to-go cup and take it out when I was adventuring around. When I was filming this, I was actually visiting San Francisco and it was so fun. So it was great to have these different teas to try and bring along with me. The next tea I pulled out was called Bloom by Steep Echo. It is a caffeine-free tea and has olive leaf, peppermint, echinacea root, licorice root, thyme, rosemary, and natural cranberry flavor. Bloom was created to help strengthen our immune defense. Olive leaf pairs with cooling peppermint, echinacea, and savory herbs. Taste the sweetness of health. I was so happy to get this tea because I ended up getting an infection, getting under the weather and not feeling good. So having this tea on hand has been super helpful. So I was really glad it was included in my Sip Spy box. It was very delicious too. So definitely recommend checking it out. The next tea I pulled out, I was very excited about. It is an Earl Grey Rose Tea by Davidson's Organic Teas. It looked delicious. I don't believe I had ever tried this brand before, so I was really excited to try it. Really like their packaging too. It was really lovely to see what the tea leaves look like inside in that clear packaging, and they had some information on the back as well. This tea is caffeinated. It has organic black tea, organic rose petals, and natural flavor. They describe this tea as Earl Grey Rose combines a full-bodied organic black tea brew with fragrant rose petals for a floral finish. I really wanted to try this tea. I used one of the tea sachets that Sip Spy included to make the tea, and I didn't have any milk on hand, so I would normally use oat milk with this just to try it out, but I just decided to make it black and just steep it for a slightly less amount of time to try it out. Oh my goodness, it was so fragrant. It was so good. It's definitely a wonderful tea on a spring day especially. The weather here is just, it's actually really turning into spring, but it's still kind of cold, especially in the mornings and the evenings. And this tea was just such a lovely treat to have. I really want to make it as like a proper, you know, tea with oat milk. So I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Now, the last tea that I pulled out is called Passage and it is by August Uncommon. It also is caffeinated and black, a black tea too. It also has coconut husk in it, hazelnut, cocoa beans, and some natural flavoring. They describe this tea as a decadent black tea with notes of French chocolate, roasted chestnuts, and dark rum, reminiscent of the rich aromas of winding Paris streets. Prepare for a luxurious breakfast experience. This tea was so good, you guys. So I made it black while traveling, but I also, once I got some oat milk on hand, I made it with oat milk, and oh my gosh, it was so good. I highly recommend trying it. And anyway, you guys, that is basically it for today's Sips by Box unboxing of my January and February boxes. I'd love to know which teas you think would be your favorites. Please let me know down below. A huge thank you to Sips by for gifting me both of these boxes to open and enjoy, as well as to each and every one of you, as I wouldn't have these opportunities without you guys. So thank you so, so much. Feel free to use my code TLOVE to save $5 off your first Sips by box. And check out my description bar for links on where to shop and the different names of the teas as well. Anyway, you guys, wishing you a magical, wonderful rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.